Hello painters, welcome to another episode of Painting the Monster Manual A to Z. In this episode we're doing the Onkeg. For this one I'm using the Reaper Bones Onkeg. And I've started with the Xenophil Priming as usual. And for the base coat we're going to use P3 Umbral Umber. I'm applying this with the airbrush over the entire model. You could just as easily paint it with a brush. Maybe not as easily, but you can do it. All right, up next we've got P3 Bloodstone. It's a nice kind of a reddish brown. And I'm going to dry brush the entire part of the creature. Remember, we're just trying to hit the uh, raised edges and leaving the recesses dark. So make sure you dry your brush off good. Try to go against the grain. For our second highlight, we have P3 Bogren Brown. And we're just going to repeat the previous step. And this will brighten it up considerably. You really start to see the details pop out now. All right, now I'm going to take that same color, and uh, with my detail brush, I'm just going to draw some vertical lines on the plating uh, uh, on his chest, just to kind of catch some of those raised edges and highlight them a little bit more. Gives it a little more definition. And up next, we've got Reaper Pure Black, and we're going to paint the eyes with it. And then also the claws, just the very tip, uh, the last digit on each of its arms. And now we've got P3 Marl White. Any pure white will work. And we're going to do a little dot on the eyes. Just to show a little bit of a reflection. Nice and easy. Now we're going to start on the base uh, with P3 Rucksack Tan. And we're going to dry brush all of the dirt looking parts. Don't worry about getting it on the little rocks. We're going to paint those next. For the rocks, we've got Vallejo Game Air Wolf Gray. And uh, one little tip with the rocks. Uh, you don't want to paint them so that when there are two rocks together you don't want to paint that gap in between you want to leave it so there's a, a bit of a shadow so they don't blend together uh, and you want to focus more on the tops of the rocks than the sides and the bottoms after that dries we're going to hit all the rocks with some null oil don't worry about getting it on the dirt and this is going to tone that gray down nicely and uh, look fairly realistic for such a simple paint job And here we've got Vallejo Model Color Ivory, and I'm going to pick out the teeth. And right here I just kind of did the two on the sides, but I end up going back and doing the, there are also two in the middle. There. Then we coat it with uh, Model Master's Lusterless Flat Spray to seal it. And here, this is an optional step. It's uh, Citadel's Nurgle Rot Technical Paint. It's kind of like a green slime and I put a little bit on his mouth and on the outer mandibles uh, on a hindsight I think I would just skip this part out I liked it better without it but here's the finished product uh, if you like this video please hit the like button uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more 
For live painting tutorials, follow me on Twitch TV. If you'd like to show support and have a chance to win the minis that I paint on these videos, check out my Patreon. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.